Good morning, guys. Well, finally, the sun is back. So, a nice day to continue the chicken coop. Happy with the progress that I did yesterday. Although, I had to stop two times because it's Formula One weekend. <laughs> so, I have to stop one time today also. At late night wood delivery yesterday. Big pile of, of cuts from trees. Which I'm going to use to uh, for the outside. And for today I hope I can start on the roof. And the door. So let's go. This is a big pile. All off cuts. The outsides of the trees that they cut at the wood mill. Sixty-five euros for the complete pack. More than enough for the chicken coop. But you can also use it for other beautiful things. Because it's it's nice wood. Hi, we are Jack and Ramona, and welcome to our channel. In 2023, we bought an old stone farm in Portugal. We left the Netherlands to start a new life closer to nature, grow our own vegetables, create a food forest, learning new skills, <laughs> and probably making mistakes on the way. We have to do a lot of things to call this a farm, but we have the land, so let's do this! Finally, a big bee. Someone said, she says, she saw less bees. And I agree. This is the first one in, well, months. I only see the very small bees. This one is very beautiful. Happy she's here. Good uh, afternoon guys, so everything, everything grows pretty fast now because of the two, three, three days of rain and now the sun is out so it uh, get a, yeah, how do you say that, a gross spurt. <laughs> so I'm cutting already uh, chard and spinach, well the New Zealand uh, sort of spinach. It's wonderful. It really tastes like spinach and it grows so fast. And yeah, it's uh, nice to have, uh, guys. Build myself a mini wall. <laughs> For the new bed. It's kind of cute.
So now stop for one and a half hour but because I'm gonna watch Formula One now. But uh, progress is going good today again. After the break I'm gonna start on the floorboards for the bedroom, chicken bedroom and Zoe bedroom. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Chicken cook master. Yeah. Tomorrow there will be eggs in there. Tomorrow already? Yeah. <laughs> or chicken. What is first? The egg. The chicken? We're going to find out what's first. <laughs> the chicken or the egg. <laughs> Stay tuned. Have you ever wondered? We're gonna find out. Um, but you, maybe. Uh -uh. Yeah, we're gonna find out what's first, chicken or the egg. <laughs> Well, today I managed to get the door frame ready. I adjusted it two times because I didn't like the first attempt. So, changed it. I think the way it's now, it's, it's going to be okay. Uh, got some cross beams in. On that side is going to be a door to clean the coop, the bedroom. I'm Got the floor boards. The, I got the floor boards the way it should be. And now I'm trying to figure out how to do the roof sound. Because I never did that before. But I think you can slide them a little bit. That side. That side. That from right up and down. I think I'm going to get some more and get an idea on how to do it. And get some more now. Ramon is 
putting oil on everything to protect the wood. Olio de Lignasa. So after that we can put the floorboards on. Yeah. Oh, she just laid an egg. Pretend you're a chicken. Yeah, I did. Both that guys. Another productive day. This is how it looks for now. Happy with it. Ramona did a good job on sanding and oiling some parts of the wood already. So uh, I can continue tomorrow with the floorboards and closing the bedroom. And uh, yeah, happy with the progress. Tomorrow we also are planning to build a roof out of real roof tiles that are already on the property when we bought it. So it would be stupid not to use them. I think it will look nice. So yeah, have a nice evening. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Boa tarde. Ciao.
Having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Are you in your element? In the chicken bedroom. In the chicken bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it's called in English. <laughs> coop. So, Night coop. Night coop. I don't Maybe know. Maybe the people know. <laughs> just call it the bedroom. Okay. You're too long for the bedroom. But you have to sit on a on a, on a branch. Yeah, but I'm gonna make a, a roof. <laughs> like a camper van. <laughs> Are you hungry? I'm having meals. <laughs> for dinner? Lunch. Yeah, lunch you mean. Almost so. Did you learn for your test? No. <gasps> Not yet. <gasps> test in two days. Yes. So I have plenty of time. Trial test, right? Yeah. It's a trial test. All and right. oh it's a nice dance floor. Yeah. With disco lights. Ah. Oh, and a disco ball. <laughs> Give me the uh, okay, then I have to. What you gonna do? Pull that beam a little bit. Because it is Bend it. Bend it, yeah. Okay. I can't get it straight with my hand. Mm -hmm. Smart. Of course, always check for small holes, but sometimes they're so small you don't know. So, yeah, but well, I put it in the ground and maybe the seeds will give a new plant. It smells wonderful. It's because of this one. It's Dilla. So nice. And this, these are flowers. Of a radish. So there's the old radish underneath. Can you see it? There he is. <laughs> and I never noticed it. But now he has beautiful, sweet, lovely flowers. So probably also seeds. It's wonderful. They tried to escape. Found him on a chickpeas. Both of them. So these will be bad because they have holes in it. And that one too. And this one. Well, we have to see 
how this will work out because it doesn't look very good. So yeah, that one too, and that one. Okay, another one, this one, that one. Wow. And this is dried out. Or only a pit. I don't know. So yeah. We have to see how this will end. Oh, looking good again, baby. Oh, wait and see, please. <laughs> Just wait and see. Chum, 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 mm. All right, they're wrapped. <laughs> no salt, just herbs. Okay. Okay. Chicken barbecue. All right. Miss Aubergine, you're pretty and big. Wow! You look wonderful, wonderful. And you got two more. Oh, these look wonderful too. <laughs> so excited. So excited. Peanut plant. And so sweet little yellow flowers. <laughs> Look. He's doing wonderful. He's growing tall with peanuts, hopefully, under the ground. <laughs> Hello, strawberry. Well, this spinach is uh, unbelievable. So <laughs> it needs free space. A lot of space in the garden because it was very small once upon a time 
and now it's like this so it's huge i let these grow in the ground because they're good for the soil there's another one oh with a small caterpillar have to get rid of these <laughs> I let them grow in the garden. It's clover. So it's really good for the soil. And there's also a small one. It's not oregano. <laughs> it's clover. And well, this should be a plant with flowers, but they love eating it. And here I saw sow some seeds. Can't remember what. I thought it was parsley. So there's so, some clover also. Time. Very good. He's getting big. So this died. And this is getting big. So yeah, it's the same bed. This was cabbage. This is still cabbage, so in the same bed. And spinach. What can eat? Well, almost like every three days or so. Wonderful. Screw up. Ew. Come on. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Look, this one didn't work. So it's yellowish. You have to get them out because they're not pollinated. So you just throw it away. And give the rest of the plant energy for the others. So one, two, three. And all minis are already coming. <laughs> they grow so fast. And quick. Yeah. Nice one too. I also put in some bell peppers. They will turn in yellow. So it's a nice size. He's growing already. A little bulb puts it some cardboard underneath it so it won't be affected by the moist of the soil when it rains. So, yeah, hope that one survives too. And there's another one. This is really a surprise plan because I told you guys I didn't bought these. So these, this is a seat that were in the seat pocket that I bought of the yellow squash, <laughs> and then did one, didn't this one turns up? So yeah, surprise and happy at the same time because they look wonderful. I'm gonna pick these. I think we're not. I don't know. I'll wait till the flower has worn out. Yeah, very pretty. Also, uh, the way it grows straight up. Well, almost straight up. It pushes itself higher from the ground. Wonderful. And the corn is doing fine as well. There they are. My little helper, the ladybug. <laughs> there he is. Huh. Cucumber. <laughs> 
Wonderful. First, bell peppers. Nice. They have to be yellow, so uh, okay. I ripen them inside. Okay. And some almost red tomatoes. Let me taste one. No, but they're not red enough. You think? Yeah. I need to view it. Fire red. Okay. Some red lettuce and two crickets. Okay. <laughs> He's a little bit. Yeah, I know. Misformed. Yeah. He has a nose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. So that's uh, lunch for today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I'm gonna make a uh, courgette spaghetti. Okay, nice. This is gonna be the middle section of the egg boxes that I'm making. I'm gluing two sheets together. 
Here, I'm just gonna. Oh, sorry, guys. Anybody fall? No, huh? There's gonna be beam on this side. Yeah, I glued some pieces together to make it thicker. Make it a little bit more sturdier. And I have some more flesh to put some screws in. This is going to be the middle board. I'll have some extra strength in it. So for now I'll let it dry. I have a nice thick board in the middle. And it's smooth on both sides because the wood that I'm using here is um, waterproof. What do you call it? With all the layers. We'll find out. But one side is one side is smooth, the other side is not. They normally use it on trailers, stuff like that. But I think for the chickens, it's better when it's smooth. So yeah. 